Adrian Gas Money's Marcus, and in this video, I'm going to guide you how you can add a new domain to your hosting on Namecheap and also install WordPress and how you just can connect more domains to your hosting. So the first thing that you want to do is when you're going to be in dashboard, you're going to have like this server icon here that you can go to cPanel or you can go to hosting list and here you're going to find the go to cPanel 2. So click on that. It doesn't matter which way you're going to go. Now, when you're going to be here on cPanel, what you want to do is that we're going to scroll down below to domains and in the past, you would find like two, three years ago, like add on domains It not, is not here anymore. What you have to do is click here domain. Okay. And now, as you can see, we have our domain right here. So what you want to do is to create a new domain. And now if you're going to have it from hosting uh, from Namecheap, you're just going to choose the domain that you want to connect right here. Just you would just like take it and paste it and submit, right? But I got already disconnected. So I'm going to use uh, like a domain from Hostinger. And all you have to do is you have to change a name servers if you're going to connect it from different um, provider. So what you want to do is that you're going to change the name servers. And now I'm going to just paste it right here in domain. So we'd come here to uh, DNS name servers change name, name servers and it's just going to post like dns onenamechiphostingcom and dns2. Pretty simple, right? So what you want to do then is when you're going to have it, click submit. And now look at this, it's going to take a while to load it for you. Okay, and here we are, look at this. So Uh, when we're right here, uh, we see it right here. And now what I'm going to do is that I'm going to click on WordPress. And here, what you have to do is just like install now. And then you have to choose the installation URL, like which site you want to have like it installed. Let's say I'm going to go with websitetow.com. And now I'm going to choose the version, the best one. And I don't have the SSL certificate for it, but that's okay. And I'm going to click quick install. And this is like the admin account and everything uh, that you have to connect it. Install. And right now it's going to install WordPress for you. Okay, and now we just have it. Now I will just log in. And that's pretty much it. So yeah, I have right now, I don't have SSL certificate for this, but that's how we're going to install the WordPress for it. So thank you very much guys for watching and have a great day and goodbye.